I was born to be a fighter, had these dreams and desires I would be something better, energy got a fire in my soul to keep burning, a pain that keep burning. Hey guys, what's going on? Andy Elliott, in this video I want to talk to you how to make a million dollars. Yes, that's seven numbers, seven, seven figures, a million dollars in the next 12 months. Now, if you're watching this, the title of this video is how to get rich in 2024. And some of you may say, oh man, this is another sales day. No, I'm gonna tell you tactically how people all around the world, this is my brother Luke right here, how they're literally making a million dollars in under the next 12 months, okay? Now, I love you guys. I'm gonna tell you something. As I'm talking to you a little bit about like what Luke's doing to create these guys to make a million bucks under the next 12 months with no degree, no nothing, if you have a great job right now, if you're kicking ass, if you love where you are, okay, I hope this video inspires you to not change your job, but to do your job better and go win. But if you've been waiting for an opportunity, this could be it, okay? I love you guys. Check it out. Number one, Luke right here, for the last three years, you've been the number one solar salesperson in the United States. Is that correct? That's right. Earned the most money, crushed it, kill it, almost, would you run, almost $2 million last year? Uh, almost 1.8, yep. Yep, and guess what? He's so he started that was him doing his own thing, killing it, crushing it, doing his own deal. He started building a team. He got with me. He's like, Andy, you got all these fire breathing dragons, all these people, and you're training them and you're making them great. And then they're going back to these companies. The number one thing that I hear is that I don't have a great leader and I don't work for a great organization and nobody's pushing me hard to become great. And I just hear this all the time, right? And people are like, yeah, I hear what you're saying. Or when I come to your seminars, my managers laugh at me, right? They laugh at me. They make fun of me when I'm self-developing. It's like, everybody's like, oh, that's a joke. Listen to me. You guys know those that can self-develop the most make the most money. The greatest advice you'll ever get is out self-develop everybody. You, you don't work harder on your job than you do on yourself. You work harder on yourself than you do on your job because who you become determines how much money you make. Okay, so don't. next time somebody says don't do that, ask yourself this. Do I want to be them? And if you don't want to be them, I would tell you you better not listen to them because if you take their advice, there's a good chance you're going to end up just like them. So listen to me. I've got a, I've got a nine-figure business. I'm sitting here with this man that is absolutely creating men and women. I know a lot of them are men, but women can kick ass in this too. Men or women who want to change their life. So let's get tactically, right? Luke, number one, I appreciate you being I here. I appreciate Guys, you, Guys, this man. is Luke with Fusion Power, okay? He's in Scottsdale, Arizona. He lives in Arizona. He's right down the road from me. He's in our brotherhood. We're kicking ass. But he's So these people, as they come to my events and as they come around us, they're always like learning. They're wanting to kill it. And every time they bump into Luke, Luke literally will, somebody will say, hey, Luke, how can I work for you? And Luke will take these people and then they're making a hundred grand a month and they're killing it. And some of them are 19, some of them are 21, some of them are 25, some of them are 40 years old. And I'm noticing this trend of these people making all this money, but they're not just making money. I always tell, you know, you're, are you 40? Yeah, 43. You're 40, uh, 43? 43 okay. Yep. I'm 44, he's 43. I've learned in my life, I don't just want to become rich. I want to also have a rich life. It's super important. The art of achievement and the art of fulfillment happens. You because you're older like me, you know chasing money and all this shit and having a crappy life and not becoming a good person absolutely sucks. So when you're building these people, I'm noticing that you're building them to become great in life, become great people, look in the mirror and be proud of themselves, but you're also teaching them how to sell and close, learn to influence and persuade. You're teaching them how to how to do this business that you do and, they, and you're their coach and you're teaching them and you're leading them. And bro, you're making them rich and you're changing their freaking life. So. Um, Tell us how you're doing it. Like, look, the yeah. whole world, guys, Luke is very amazing, okay? Um, but I'm going to let him now, oh, for the next, you know, five, eight minutes, let it rip. Tell us. Somebody messages. Somebody fills out. I know there's a link at the bottom below. If somebody's like, I want to take an opportunity with this guy. I want to be with him. I've been waiting for my way out. Let's say somebody clicks on that. They, you reach out to them, right? Walk me through how you're getting people to kick ass and make this kind of money. What are you doing? Well, the first thing is like limiting beliefs, right? So many people have limiting beliefs. If they're on a job because their parents told them, we were just talking to a guy that's like, my parents told me to go to college, I could make so much more money, but he's he systematically has to go to college because his parents told him to do it. They have limiting beliefs. I always ask him, like, how much money are your parents making? Like, are you are your parents making a million dollars? That's a great question. Like, and they're like, no, he's like making a hundred thousand dollars. I was like, well, chances are that if you're following advice from them, you're gonna make a hundred thousand dollars, and you're gonna be stuck in a job that you hate, right? So ultimately, what it comes down to is a belief system. Man, isn't that crazy, uh, it's, it's, guys? It's, it's, listen to what he said. And by the way, this is no disrespect to your parents because your parents weren't alive in this generation. Yeah, they they weren't alive in this era to be able to to watch 
you know, an era of like social media now, like they can mm -hmm. do. Yeah. Like, I'm just going to be honest. Like, dude, I, I'm not mad at my dad that he made 60 grand a year. Yeah. Okay. My dad wasn't alive in this generation. He wasn't alive in this area. He wasn't alive with stuff like this. My dad, maybe when he was 20 years old or 25 or 30, maybe if he, this was around and he could have watched something like this, maybe my dad would have made a different decision, but, but it wasn't there. So like, my point is, is that it's not that this kid's parents are bad parents, but they have a belief issue because that's the way that they were raised, but they're not in this generation now at that age. Most people are playing it safe. And with the, with the new information comes a new vantage point, comes a new perspective. Most people, if you're following the advice of people that are making maybe $100,000 a year, they're like, do this, be safe. You can go, you can go to college, you can get out of college, and you go get a job, get a and then you work for corporate America, and then you work for 40 years, and then you retire, and then you'll be able to have enough money to live on, and you'll be safe and comfortable. Listen, Doesn't exist. you got to be able to take risks. With a bigger risk comes a greater reward. Mm -hmm. Calculated risk. Don't take stupid risks. Hey, guys, sorry to interrupt the video. As I'm talking about how to make a million dollars in the next 12 months, a lot of you are like, oh, man, I don't know. Listen, stop. Dude, you have no idea. You do not want to miss this opportunity right now. This business is booming. This leader is creating these people, and these paychecks are real, and they cash. If you're wanting to kill it and crush it and everything that we said in this video, you're like, man, I can align with that. That's what I want in my life. Guys, go down to the description box below. Go there now. Don't hesitate. Go down to the description box below. A little YouTube video. It says description. Go down there. Click on the link. It'll ask you some questions. Maybe there's a little video you upload. Make sure your cell phone's correct, your email's correct. Make sure you put your right name in there. And then Luke himself will reach out to you in the next 24 hours. I love you guys. Let's get back to the video. Right. If someone's making, hey, I made a million dollars, I'm going to show you how. I'm like, dude, I'm with you. Why do you think I love you so much? Bro? You're like yeah. making nine figures. I'm like, I got to get in this guy's pocket. Right. I'm always trying to uplift and up level myself. Now, we've created a vehicle, right, to be able to get people to where they want to go. If you show up to a NASCAR race and you're a great driver and you're driving a Prius, what spot are you going to take? Last. Last. Yeah. Now, if you show up to a NASCAR race and you got the fastest car there, right, and you're a good driver, what's the chances? You're going to take yeah. one or top, top five at least, right? Facts. Um, depending on the variable principles and stuff with that. But here's the idea. This is like the NASCAR race with the fastest car mm. for a million dollars, right? I, I have a proven blueprint that works. I'm a master at closing. I can effortlessly and easily overcome any objections and kill the objections before they ever come up. Right. We're going to overcome those before they ever get a chance. And you teach this when people join you. Like, you run your A to Z. Yeah. So, like, if you come work for me, man, I give you all I got. It's like, you ever been to a magic show and you're like, how does he do that? You're thinking about how he does it. How yeah. does he does it? I'm now, always wondering. If that guy actually showed you the magic trick and you practice it for five or six times, man, what are the chances you could do the same magic trick? And yeah. then people are looking at you. Oh, wow. So I'm going to show them the magic tricks and I'm going to show them all the tactics and skills and stuff to develop them. And ultimately, it's up to them to, to actually apply the principles that they learn. When, and that's what it comes when, down when to. When people reach out to you, what I notice is that a lot of these people, right? Um, you know, they're, they're, they're either have been broken, they've been hurt, they've got scars on them from the past. 95% of the world does, right? Yeah. How do you see people that maybe have had a rough start in life, right? That when they come to you, they're ready to change their life or they've already changed their life or they're ready to go to this next level. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, maybe they're working really hard. I'm gonna give you an example. You talked about the race car deal, but I was thinking about a boat. If I'm in the boat and I'm rowing really hard, but I'm in, cause there's a lot of people who work really hard. Yeah. But I've learned that hard work won't make you rich. Right. Now, hard work is important, but if you're in yes. the wrong boat and you're rowing your ass off, you got to be in the right boat and row your ass off. Yeah. And you, right now, the solar industry, Luke, is insane. Gold and rush. It's the gold, gold rush. rush. And the fact that you've created this, dude, just five years with you. I mean, I'm just going to say, like, if somebody said, hey, I'm going to spend five years, they would be multi, multi, multi millionaires. Change your life. So you come work for me, it changes. We, we, we tear you down and we build you back up. A lot of times people have talk, these talk, what is tear, What does tear down mean? Because people sometimes, say, oh, they're, they're tearing down. They're hazing people. They're doing this because people are just crazy, yeah, yeah. right? Tearing down, does that mean just dis, like, dis, getting, killing all their disbeliefs? Tearing down the beliefs. Recreating system. their we mind. We all are programmed with stuff through our past. Mm -hmm. And usually that's going to create limiting beliefs. And it's going to limit us to what we're capable of doing, right? right. I had to tear down shit ton. I'm still tearing them down today. And what I'm doing is I'm tearing them down and I'm installing powerful, empowering mm -hmm. belief systems and stuff that now empower me and allow me to think better, think differently, and have new results. And so everybody, all of us, you, me, everybody has some sort of limiting belief. Yep. Now, some of us have done a lot of personal development where we've been able to tear down those walls. We've been able to create new uh, belief systems that now allow us to be in different positions mm -hmm. in life. So everybody comes to this position like this. Listen, if you're on here and you're like, I want to make a million dollars. But then you're like, you still have your subconscious is saying you can't make a million dollars. 
dude, you made $40,000 last year. You can't make a million dollars. That's a limiting belief. And whether or not you continue to try and work and try, like you can never, you can never abandon that limiting belief because that's your subconscious. And that's going to make, put all the pieces and places and things together to, to reiterate what it knows. And so you break those down, you reinstall a new program. And here's the other thing, proximity. We were just talking about this. Like you're around other people that are making a million dollars. What are the chances you're going to make a million dollars? 100%. Dude, yeah, it's, it's you always up, le- up level and uplift yourself and surround yourself around with people that are doing it. So I'm going to show them the magic tricks. We're going to give them the mechanics. We're going to go over the logistics, and we're going to go over the mechanics and how to overcome objections. You'll flawlessly and easily be able to do this. Like, there's not an objection I can't overcome, right? A- yeah. a- anywhere, to, and I, I teach and you And you teach people to, I mean, you teach people things that are super fundamental in life as well. So, like, let's envision these next couple years. You you become a multimillionaire. You, you learn how to communicate, yeah. right? Like, how important is, important. like, like the communication skills that you've learned, like being in this industry. And by the way, we've all had bad leaders. Yeah. Okay. So you know what happens when you're with a bad leader, like you do bad shit, like you're not motivated to work hard, but when you're with a good leader, like, dude, like you're unstoppable. Like anytime I've ever had a great leader, like I've destroyed it. A rising tide raises all ships. What does that mean? When the water goes up, all the ships rise. And so if you're in that water, your ship's going to rise to the level that theirs is at. And so this is why you always want to surround yourself. Now, you could be working for any company, but are, is anybody making a million dollars? Maybe you're working at like an hourly job and you're like, dude, I can make $250,000 if I just work here for 10 years and I put in 12 hours a day, six days a week. Maybe in 10 years, it'll be $250,000. Why, why do that? You can shortcut all that and you can make a million dollars right now. You don't have to wait 10 years. You don't have to wait three years. You don't have to wait two years. I'm going to show you that. I'm going to give you the blueprint and we're going to show you how to do it. And ultimately, you're going to apply the blueprint and they're going to be able to do it. I always tell this. I'm like, if I gave you the recipe, I don't know if you're, but you're not a baker, bro, because you don't even eat sweets, right? Yeah. But if I gave you the recipe for a cake and it just gave you the step-by-step recipe, chances are that you'd make a cake, right? Mm-hmm. Even if you suck at baking, you've never baked anything in your life, it's not going to turn out to be a rock. It's not going to turn out to be a cookie. It's going to turn out to be a cake. So I have the recipe for seven-figure success, and I can duplicate this because I've been able Mm. to do it over and over and over again. I'm going to give you the recipe, and ultimately you follow directions, and then you'll be able to do it. The other thing with this is like people look at this as like, oh, it's going to be so hard. It's such a grind. I don't like knocking doors. I don't like knocking doors. Listen, if you have that mindset, you're going to hate it. you got to gamify.